Hello guys, this is the second problem of homework 5. The rigid pin is supported by a pin at C and A36 steel guy wire is AB. If the wire has a diameter of 0.2 inches, determine the load W if the end B is displaced 0.5 in downward. So, I'll divide this problem in two parts. The first part I will find my uh, relationship between the load and the tension. The second part, I'll discover my displacement in AB. And to end, I'll discover the relationship between my displacement and then my load W. Okay, so starting with our free body diagram is my NC, so I have my NB here, CB, and then I have my tension with a 30 degree angle. So, and here I have my uh, load. I know that I'll have like equivalent load applying the middle with 10 feet times uh, omega or W, so here I have my equivalent load 10W and here I'll have my components that I'll call T times sine of 30 and here I'll have T times cosine of 30. So to discover my relationship I will do the sum of moments around C counterclockwise is positive equals zero so my c it's going clockwise so minus 10 w times 5 because in in the middle plus my t sine of 30 that's over 2 times 10 feet equals zero so i know that 50 omega is the same as 5 t so my T is the same as 10 omega. So I'll keep this information because it will be useful to finish our exercise. Now, now we have to find the, the displacement and B, A, B and not use this uh, displacement at the end B. So I will start find my L and H for the triangle A, B, C. So I know 10 over L equals cosine of 30. So I know my L equals 10 over cosine 30. So my L is 11.547 feet. Using the same approach, I know that H over L is sine of 30. I know my H equals L times sine of 30. And I know my H equals 5.774 feet. Now I have a new triangle because the end D will go downward 70.5 inches that's the same as 0 0.0625 feet so they are the same and then i don't have my 30 degree angle anymore i have here so to discover my new triangle i gonna instead h will be h plus 0 0.75 inches and here I have my 10 feet. So I have to discover my L prime. How can I discover my L prime? This is a triangle and uh, rectangle. So I can use L prime square equals 10 square. That's our base. Now my distance between A and C prime will be H that I discovered in my original triangle plus 
0.0625 feet because I'm dealing with the unit feet. So I can find that my L prime is 11.578 feet. Okay, now I'll find my displacement in B, how much AB stretches. So I know AB is final length minus original length. So the displacement AB is 0 0.03137 feet. So this is the second information that we have to uh, keep in mind. Now, to end our exercise, we know the equation that displacement is equal load times original length over area times modulus of elasticity. We are dealing with A36 steel, so our modulus of elasticity is 29 times 10 to the 6 PSI, pounds per inch square. Now, I know that my load is displacement AB that I have times area that I also have times modulus of elasticity that I also have over my length original length that I also have. So my load is equal 0 0.03137 times 29 times 10 to the 6 times my area pi over 4 times 0 0.2 square over my original length that is 11.5 Four, seven. Okay, now we're gonna discover our units. So here I have feet, here I have pounds, pounds per inch square, here I have inch square, and here I have feet as well. So our unit will be in pounds. So Doing the math, I'll have my load is equal 0 0.00248 pounds uh, times 10 to the 6 pounds. To make it look better, I have 2.48 times 10 to the 3rd pounds, or if you prefer, 2.48 KIP, that's kilopounds. Now, to end this exercise, I have my relationship because we know that our load, P, is our T. That is 10 W. So I know my load, 10 W, is equal 2.48 KIP. So I have my load is 0. 248 KIP per feet. This is the exercise 2 for the homework 5.